madam. Patti madam, you can start. Good afternoon. Myself Naina Patti from Med Institute of Pharmacy. I extend warm welcome to this guest and all participants to the second session of day two of national level e-faculty development program on implementing ER 2020 challenges and opportunities organized by Med Institute of Pharmacy in association with APTI Maharashtra State. The guest for today's session, Mr. Avinash Bhutara sir. It's my immense pleasure to introduce Mr. Bhutara sir, uh, who is going to guide us to a very interesting topic, effective mentoring of present generation students. Sir has completed MPharm in pharmaceutics, also completed MBA in marketing, and sir has also completed LLB. Sir is working as associate professor at SNJB Sri DF Loda College of Pharmacy, Sandwar uh, Nasi, and has total 35 year experience in academic. Sir has also worked 2.5 year in formulation and development at Okar LTD Aurangabad. Sir has awarded as best teachers of SNGB College of Gram and Gram Panchayat. Sir has also received Okar Merit Award from Outstanding Contribution in Research and Development. He has founder of organization Rashtra Sevak Prantidar Maharashtra. Uh, he also founder president at uh, Nutan Swara. A Swarajanik Vachnalai Sai Kheda and also Nutan Vayam Shada Sai Kheda. Sir is ex joint secretary of teachers associate for non edit Polytechnic, Polytechnic Maharashtra. Sir is author of Mahara, uh, Marathi Kavya Sangraha Kavita Avinashi. Sir ex chairman KKH KKH Abad Pat uh, Sansta Sandwar. Other than sir. Uh, other than sir has actively participated in national and social activities sir organized work for street play uh, uh, play for social awareness of, uh, about andhra shraddha nirmulan national integrity and women's empowerment so with this brief introduction we'll welcome mr avinash bhutara sir now i request sir to please start the session and guide us with your valuable points Thank you very much, ma'am. Very good afternoon to everybody. It's a great pleasure for me to give some insights and share my experience to all my colleagues and fraternity who are working dedicatedly and tirelessly for the welfare of the students of the farm. I really have and very much proud that we are connected with pharmacy students because Pharmacy students are the students who are directly connected with the healthcare system and welfare of the medical welfare of the society in general. So their knowledge and their upgrading is much more important because they are going to be working without any moderation. In industry, those who are working in industry have some moderation. There are some hierarchy. Some are following it. And likewise, there is some control. Here, once he has given a misinformation, that will continue as misinformation. And that is why it is very important link for successful healthcare system. And to this effect, the new ER has been done to have an uh, changes with time. But this ER was much more uh, say confusing to so many people all over the Maharashtra. Number of new practicals were introduced. And there was a great need of some support from the PCI or some other agency in order to implement it effectively. And really, this uh, the total theme of this uh, say faculty development program that is implementing ER 2020 challenges and opportunity is one of the big steps ahead in this direction. Uh, I would really appreciate the initiative and lead taken by Sri Shirsagar sir and made and the APTI office bearers of the Maharashtra state. So I appreciate them. I thank them on behalf of the fraternity that they have been, their interaction is very important among teachers. Otherwise expectation of each person is different. Every person thinks in different manner about syllabus. 
because syllabus is quite vague there are no clear cut inclusions and exclusions there is a broad scope for one's own interpretation and in such situation a general basic agreement among all teachers is very much necessary and uh, with this faculty development program sir has taken a great initiative in this direction so that a uniformity in uh, basic content will be there and how it can be improved that can be there so i first of all thank mate institute shirsagar sir all those team members who are uh, taking great effort for making this event successful like mayur savan sir the uh, program advisor savan sir and uh, say the patil madam all and all other team uh, in the very beginning the today's my session is dealing with the effective mentoring of present generation students now somebody will think what is there in mentoring whether mentoring we are doing it for the first time uh, have we not when we were teaching earlier were we not taking care of the students then what is there to learn in it that might be the opinion in the first phase of number of people number of uh, teachers might be thinking in that manner what is there to learn but see having a knowledge and having a presentation skills or teaching mode or identifying the needs are two different thing that is why people work out for example say b go for b ed m ed education is also a separate technology so applying this knowledge in order to transfer information learning and wisdom from your side to the students is a great task and which is not simple so our job is not that simple as people think that just to pour out the information because we are not really the only source of information now the things have changed a lot and for this effect effective mentoring is to be learned relearned in a modern sense and on the other hand there is a one special thing in this topic which i like from the the sir has to offer me topic of present generation students number of people are teaching in the uh, teaching uh, teaching field from long time some are new join entrants with increase in number of colleges many new entrants are also joining so there is a gap between the what we have learned what we are teaching what the technologies we have used and are uh, habitual and the present day technology so there is a some gap and present generation students may or may not tolerate that so effective mentoring for these students is a great challenge and that is why i really uh, say uh, wish uh, i must congratulate all these uh, people who have decided this activity even the say the now the let us come to the uh, say topic without wasting much time Sh uh, shall i continue to change slide is slide visible yes, yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. so the first thing is we are in the field of education nowadays education is taking as a concept as product and say customer like uh, treatment is given that we, our product must be good the he is a customer dear participants we need to wait for a moment as there may be some technical uh, issue with the speaker i request you all to be patient and uh, stay live on the stream thank you
वेलकम टू एम एटीज इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फार्मेसी द ब्रेन चाइल्ड ऑफ ऑनरेबल श्री छगन भुजबर सर एस्टेब्लिश्ड इन 2006 having b pharmacy m pharmacy doctor of pharmacy and phd course affiliated to savitri bai phule pune university it is located in la ata hota hai tane ata hai pan Welcome to MIT's Institute of Pharmacy the brain child of honorable Shri Chagan Bhujbar sir established in 2006 having B pharmacy M pharmacy doctor of pharmacy and PhD course affiliated to Savitri Bai Phule Pune University it is located in lush green campus of Bhujbar Nolet city Nashik Maharashtra in India consists of four storage building with more than 20 laboratories and appropriate facilities conducting research activities our institute is accredited with nac and nba hello एक मिनट हो हो एक स्लाइड अपलोड होता है यस सर एक्सट्रीम डिज हो रही है ना सर इट्स ओके नथिंग टू वरी इंटरनेट गेट्स लॉस ऑन से वेन सप्लाई इज नॉट देयर टेम्पररीली टिल जनरेटर स्टार्ट्स हेलो यस कैन यस यस स्लाइड इज विजिबल यू कैन स्लाइड आर विजिबल सर यस या या सो what is education we are not in a just like a market everything is thought but in real sense education is not a just a marketing activity it is something more than that it is a shaping of a person takes place so what is education in the view of certain geniuses that we shall just have at a glance see mahatma gandhi what he has said live as if you were to die tomorrow and learn as if you were to live forever so it is a lifelong process it is not the process where only in the formal education we take in schools and colleges so learn as if you were to live forever then uh, for the foundation of every state is the education of its youth the goal of education is the advancement of knowledge and dissemination of truth so it should not only advance the knowledge it should also disseminate the truth truth which is beneficial like satyam shivam sundaram the education is the most powerful weapon which can you can use to change the world so the change whatever change takes place in the world is through education the function of education is to teach one to think intensively and to think critically intelligence plus character that is the goal of true education intelligence is required but not only intelligence intelligence plus character building is also the role of educator or teachers like us so that is there then again you, we can see education's purpose is to replace an empty mind with an open one many times what happen we are just making so called ganpatis we have taken a mold we are shaping the people like anything and all must be equal everybody must know this every must body must put the answer in the same fashion likewise we are we are having a uh, say a kind of approach that we uh, keep the mind empty we just not make it open to receive the new things so in the education that is also expected the objective of education is learning and not teaching many people think that just i have taught the thing whether you have learned or not i don't know and it is your responsibility and i am free it is not the case 
the true objective of education is the learning and not teaching i am what i am teaching is not important but what student is learning is important education is not the filling a pail but the lighting of a fire just like filling some duct or cavity with some information that is not education its application it should make the people to think and uh, work in a different fashion they should understand what is to be done and should be devoted and dedicated so it is a lighting of fire education shows not seeds in you but makes your seeds grow many teachers think that we are giving seeds to the student no it's not your role the seeds are already there in the student you are just to make them grow in their own way in their own fashion not in your fashion the philosophy of the school room in one generation will be the philosophy of government in the next आज जे स्कूल रूम्स म्हणजे असे सिंपल आहे स्कूल रूम मधून जे चालत आहे ते काय उद्या काय होणार आहे सोसायटीची फिलॉसॉफी होणार आहे सो द फिलॉसॉफी ऑफ द स्कूल रूम इन वन जनरेशन विल बी द फिलॉसॉफी ऑफ द गव्हर्नमेंट इन द नेक्स्ट सो दिस इज एज्युकेशन इन बॅकग्राऊंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग मेंटोरिंग इन द इन विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दिस नॉट ओनली लर्निंग ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑर टेक्निकल स्किल also character building that is also the part of education which is expected from the mentors teacher at a glance it is the teacher that makes the difference not the classroom classroom has nothing to do with the education it is the teacher that makes different whether it is ashram or a huge building doesn't make difference to this end the greatest asset of a school is the personality of a teacher so asset of a school is not the infrastructure it is the personality of a teacher and good teacher can inspire hope ignite image imagination and instill a love of learning there must be a love of learning for a teacher there must be a uh, say spirit so that the imagination of the students will be ignited and one thing that is needed is hope he should inspire to hope the students from what we get we can make a living and what we give we make a life so we are giving something just what we are getting is for living we are making a job we are for, it is doing it for living but we are giving and that is making life and that is why it is important if you are teaching today what you were teaching 5 years ago either the field is dead or you are long period has elapsed when the syllabus of d firm has changed and we were teaching the same thing again and again for long period so there was need for revision with us time we must change not only today also tomorrow we should change everyone who remembers his own education remembers teachers and not methods and techniques the teacher is the heart of the education system the teacher is the heart of the education system that must be kept in mind and irrespective of all the problems all the struggles all the difficulties with us the teacher must go ahead with a proper mentoring so that he can put his mark on the overall system now what is mentoring in just in such as such let me give an example in the very beginning a mother was taking care of child when there were no books no training or no parenting coaching were there so mother was not is it not it uh, the fact that the mother was also taking proper care of students at that uh, sorry of the of their children at that time but still with advancement and for proper care if you are trained if you are educated you can take it better care so we are no doubt trained in mentoring many of us are practicing mentoring but mentoring learning in systematic way will help us to improve and take better mentoring activities and practices that is why just first understand what is mentoring mentoring can be defined as dynamic and supportive relationship it is a dynamic and supportive it must be changing depending on need depending on circumstances it must change it must support it is not the main core so i should not insist my ideas with the students that you follow my ideas you think in my manner that is not the purpose of education or my mentoring my mentoring is to support the student in understanding himself now who is who is mentor and who is mentee one who is more experienced more say having more information and knowledge will be mentor and one who is less experienced will be considered as mentee and this relationship between mentor and mentee is dynamic and supportive 
now what a mentor is supposed to provide in short it is supposed to provide guidance knowledge and support to mentee for what purpose it is to be given it is to be given for personal and professional development of the mentee now in mentoring information and advice is expected but and it is to be given in the environment of trust in the environment of encourage, encouragement to the students and it should facilitate the mentee's growth and achievement mentee's growth and achievement should be uh, facilitated not that he should pass my most of the students have passed with high marks uh, without say in by uh, hook or crook by malpractices that is that cannot be the goal of mentoring mentoring involves the transfer of knowledge skills information experience and wisdom knowledge skills information experience and wisdom these must be transferred during mentoring so mentoring a mentor is someone who sees more talent and ability within you than you see in yourself and helps bring it out to you so what a mentor is doing exactly we we are thinking that students are having no talent they are not having any discipline and likewise but everybody has got talent no animal in the world has has been sent by the god in without talent so a mentor must identify this talent of the student and the ability that is there in him and it should be he should he should help to bring it out now uh, you may say how you are saying like that sir there are some students which are not at all having any kind of talent they cannot write two lines properly now just think of the situation that i have so i can give you an example when one of my students was really of this kind and i was so much say uh, worried about this that how this he can progress how what should i do and i was experimenting in many manner but in one day in one competition when songs were going on she was the first and very fast in just with a second tune she was answering the uh, which song was there our songs were about to end but she was most prompt and uh, most uh, say having efficiency or proficiency in that so her talent was different i was not able to catch that talent and convert it to some motivated goals so that should be the object of mentor one of the greatest values of mentors is the ability to see ahead a mentor must have a vision what is going to come what is required what are the future needs that must be realized by mentor and that others cannot see others may laugh at you at that time but this is the need of future if you can identify that try to inculcate that need in uh, with students then uh, the mentor should help help them to navigate a course to their des uh, say destination his destination not your destination many times what happen just like parents thirst their ideas their uh, say what profession he should do how he should do uh, what practice he should carry the same pattern we follow and we try to thrust our ideas on the student no they have their own destination they have their own capacity we are just to navigate them safely and effectively and accelerate their navigation to the goal mentoring is a brain to pick and ear to listen and a push in the right direction we have a brain to pick not some uh, say material the say object is not there it is a brain which is really a thinking one and changing one so we have a brain to pick and handle it and ear to listen one important thing many times what happens in this profession is we practice it as if we are just say one way traffic is there you just listen me who knows you know or i know i know better and you must follow this likewise but a good say when there is a dialogue is needed when there is conversation is needed what is necessity you must have a good ear to listen you must listen what they are saying just not uh, say neglect their ideas everywhere every now and then should not be looked down upon by them many teachers have a habit of scolding the students every now and then for good mentoring this scolding aspect should be minimum there should be a push in right direction it is just not making the friendship or frankness with the students you are to push them in right direction the delicate balance of mentoring someone is not creating them in your own image but giving them opportunity to create themselves 
we have to give them opportunity to create themselves and greatest good you can do for another is not just to share your riches i just not want to transfer how rich i am in experience my knowledge the just transferring that is not my object but to reveal to them their own but to help them to discover their own talents their own riches their own capacities that is the object of mentoring so this is in general with this course by discussing this course i just want to put these objectives in the front line before we discuss what is mentoring now the subject has one part that is present generation students we must think all this mentoring not as it was taught in past although there are some eternal truths which were there also in past and also today but present generation have some more special things and that must be taken notice of what are these say strengths of the present generation student they are technologically savvy they are so much technologically expert that many times a teacher uh, struggle for mastering the technology just like i am struggling to uh, have delivery of this lecture in covid we have learned number of technological skills but still students are sometimes superior in that and we must try to adopt to although not to that pace but although also we must try to adopt this technology high exposure to new technology knowledge and information earlier the information was very limited libraries were limited we have to uh, for handling certain instrument we have to move to so long distances for references we have to uh, say request so many people now the things are just at a click so the students are more smart than what they were earlier they are multitaskers they are having multiple say functions multitasking at a time they are having uh, say need for instant gratification now they are not happy with a slow or long time approach they are needing a instant result and quick response they go if there is a question in mind they need instant gratification of it so they crave personalized learning experiences they are not interested in theoretical approaches too many say theoretical discussions the bookish knowledge they are not interested in that if this is a tablet is prepared how the tablet is prepared they want a first hand experience okay theory they, they are they will took a theory it is not that they will not totally uh, say have interest in theory but they want a real life experience learning experience this generation is different and smart in that sense there is there is more family support as compared to earlier generation earlier generation didn't know what the in which year the student is learning but now the parents and the family is much more aware and they are ready to support with all possible inputs to their uh, say circumstances their say financial ability it may be the financial mental emotional intellectual inputs they are ready to give to these students availability of multiple sources for knowledge other than college earlier what was there our teacher has said that is final because we do not have any option or alternative to know if the truth is different or if there is something else is there and now the multiple source is there students sometimes use their own ideas use websites use their own references uh, online videos they listen sometimes other learning resources are there they uh, look at that and they have their own ideas so we should not insist that what only i am saying is only truth and what you are saying or you what you might be thinking is totally wrong if this approach we are keeping as a teacher we are outdated teachers for present generation the present generation is output oriented so if i am teaching something that has got no application or no benefit in that case what will happen the student will not be interested and we will say that how arrogant the student is there so student is now output oriented he has to at least connect what we are learning has got this particular application this particular output that must be made known by teacher that so that he will have interest because without output he is not interested he is practical and sensible he is not interested in making something uh, which is a uh, just a child of imagination and nothing has nothing to do with reality he, he may take it just for fun and not seriously as a part of career he has his own choice priorities opinions and views he has his, so uh, he may uh, be liking the western songs 
you may say these songs are not very good and i, I see uh, what the old songs how these lyrics were what beautiful lyrics were there you should not thrust your choices or priorities opinions and views of about social political cultural whatever it may be you should be open to accept and receive them although you may not agree with them you should be ready to listen them believe in smart work than hard work now these students if you ask them earlier there were instructions write this three times student are not interested in that it just making hard work just to memorize the thing they are not interested they need something special some ideas some diagrams some imaginative things with which they can remember it and can use it easily or some key references charts likewise so they believe in smarter than hard work they have an eye for utility or usefulness they have uh, say uh, usefulness or utility is one thing say if i am learning something it must be useful if something that is nowhere applicable in then he will not be interested in learning that irrespective of your all efforts all these things will be just a waste now more awareness of horizons and he is more updated so i might have learned only three meals or four meals or i was i might have seen only five six machines for drying but on say net or at by in during his visit observation he may have seen many things more so he has got a selectivity in studies he is not ready to study everything that is thrown to him he is interested in studying what he feels is useful for it so if you want that he should study in your subject or you should make him use it useful and make him feel that it is really really interesting and applicable in real life if such connection is made then only they will listen to you so the now this generation is very open bold and fearless if you are wrong they will plainly say you are wrong earlier there was a hesitation how i should say wrong to my teacher now the, this generation is fearless they behave with equality they are bold and open minded so we should accept these trends their approaches with uh, say with this present generation so these trends are there now let us come to the weaknesses i do not want to claim that all these trends are with all the students or all these weaknesses are with all the uh, say students i just want to Uh, i have just listed the major complaints about the students about the weaknesses now what are these weaknesses according to many number of distractions are there say like social media is there mobile has been given during covid so peer group is there age related uh, relational involvement is there so sir number of distractions are there with the student they are commercial and money minded isse kya fayda hai that is the first question what is the benefit of me doing all this thing so uh, let us forget this of no use without say some returns they are not there we have trained this them like this uh, from childhood we have trained that only those who have money those who are are successful and rest of the people are not of use so that is our mistake not their mistake they are not focused on knowledge concepts understanding but marks many many teachers think that they are just focused on marks and not on knowledge concepts and understanding this is because marks are obligatory knowledge concepts and understanding only he will receive by heart when he think it is useful when the education system is designed in such a manner that it may not be useful in his lifetime it is just sheer waste of time but because some education is to be taken because he has to qualify it because he has to obtain marks he is doing it then naturally he is going to focus on marks so we want to change this focus from marks to knowledge and concepts and understand you may get two marks less but whether you understand the basics of that or not that is important then there are habitual mal practices uh, they are habitual to mal practices like copy indiscipline arrogance absenteeism now these i i will not blame again to the students these are the results of the social social society and social environment and the earlier training they have been given so and being importance given to marks so uh, they are naturally these mal practices does exist but we want to make shift in that we want to make change in that to some extent then under trained in previous learning especially the covid period we have seen that the previous learning was no and we are just starting at a higher step where he cannot reach 
and there was a huge gap between students and teachers and how to train them how to take care of them and uh, make them reach their goal and uh, to find out their potential was really a difficult task now we cannot help this but we can uh, connect our some training parts um, our some say basic conceptual part to each training so we should start from basic in brief give introduction and then we can pro go ahead that will help them to a great extent most students have low professional aim then they are negligent lazy according to many and they are irregular and easy going uh, we will not discuss each and every point that may take uh, the long time uh, and may uh, have a loss of time so, but you can understand since all our teachers uh, need not to explain everything they can realize the thing the, uh, they consider study as unavoidable work and not pleasure there is a lack of trust and team spirit so they are working individually everybody is engaged in his own mobile everybody is trying to search the things on his own and not taking help of each other so they are not uh, say having a sharing of ideas to a great extent for the professional work and they do not have a trust over the teachers trust over the parents and all other things they are uh, quite says there is a skepticism about number of things so misuse of extra freedom from parents in some cases not all cases but some students being having a location different than their parents location बर स्क्रीन दिस्त का मैडम दर वे पर अपलोड कराए ना सर दिस्ती स्क्रीन दिस्त का या सर परत अपलोड नको करू ना परत अपलोड कराव लगे सर बर ठीक सॉरी हाँ जर आम सैटर्डे जास्त फ्रिक्वेन्सी प्रॉब्लम हाँ 
There is some technical glitch. Let's wait for two minutes. No. Oh, thanks. Can you listen me, please? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. So uh, let us move to the weaknesses again. Continue to the weaknesses. Extremely sorry for the interruption, please. So there is a uh, kind of extra freedom has been obtained by some students which has been misused. There are un, uh, say they are uninterested in rote learning and bookish knowledge. Disobedient in following instructions. Uh, they have a high expectation with low input. So they want, don't want to put much efforts, but they have high expectation and they are shortcut loving. And they have less proficiency in language of learning medium and communication. This is applicable to most of the rural colleges, especially those who are from rural background and have from learned from vernacular medium. They have got less proficiency in language. Uh, English especially and they struggle for that and although they have got quite talent and are having the ability to understand the subject just because of language they uh, cannot cope up with the situation or cannot express and they lose confidence and uh, say uh, remain aside from the very scenario. Now the environment of the present generation students there is a norm what environment also matters not only mentor or mentee or the students, but the environment also matters. Now there is a knowledge explosion. No teacher, no person, no single person can ex expect or claim that I know everything of the subject. So you must be humble. There is so much knowledge explosion. Cutthroat competition is there. So you must regard, give regard to the feelings of the student that I must have to win the competition. I must remain at least at par in the competition. You cannot neglect his motive or uh, uh, tell it and just look down upon it that this is something wrong or just concentrate on this. He will have to uh, simultaneously look or have a uh, look uh, or an eye for the competition. There is uncertainty of career and educational rewards. Even if you work hard, there is no guarantee that he will have a good career and good educational rewards. As such, many people, even after successful completion of career, have really due to changing need of society or the overcrowding of the people, they may have difficulty in finding a good career suitable to their education and abilities. The educational system is not able to give confidence of earning and status. The number of non-useful and obsolete things are there in the education. The cost of education and commercialization is also a problem. There is a less importance to values. The only importance given is the technical skill and abilities, emotional skill, intellectual skills, or some other skills that are necessary for living other than the profession are neglected. So this importance to values is to be given by our behavior because the education system does not involve any component which will help them to learn these values. So that is our special responsibility. We are to add this like say masala in subject. 
we are to spice up this all this thing with our ideas and inculcate them with some values the success is counted by marks and earning ability today's definition of success has changed not you are that you are good citizen or good person good human that is not the priority the priority is up to the marks and earning ability we have to shift this focus because that is responsible for undermining the uh, say values in the education we have to shift this by our behavior by our example by our role model so pressure of too many expectation the today's student has been uh, say subjected to pressure from parents teachers family and institutions to a great extent he is not having emotional support if there is some failure if he has some questions he has only do or die like situation you have to prove this otherwise you are useless. likewise so there is no emotional support and again family is becoming nuclear and interaction is reducing so he is many times under strain there is a less time for recreation enjoyment or recreation say reading learning or say going to theater it is not wrong it is a part of recreation no it is not that he is again say uh, not a proper student so out of box thinking and creativity are two things that are necessary to do something outstanding and we do not encourage as a system out of box thinking we do not encourage it some if somebody is thinking and suggesting some other mode or writing in some different manner we say do you know Again, loading the slides, please. Just sir, you need to again upload the slides. Uh, again, loading is necessary. No? Okay. Yeah. Sir, can you see this now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, so they are already there. Just I have made a change. So, so there is a uh, say environment is uh, we are speaking of. So there is a less time for recreation, out of box thinking, and creativity, and again less opportunity for experimentation. If somebody makes a certain thing in a different manner. He is uh, he is not appreciated, but he is just scolded that why you have done like this. So that is one a part of the system which we cannot easily change. But that is a uh, really a, a setback. Education is not addressing real life and work environment. 
so the work environment is changing very fast and education is lagging very much it is going by old methods and by the wrong tradition uh, wrong systems and wrong information or a very primitive information there is lack of support and funds from authorities and management in most of the colleges uh, some I, i must make a statement that there is some exception good exceptions are there but in many colleges to have experimentation to have some new thing there is lack of support and funds from authorities and management the teachers are demotivated for several reasons of their personal financial or other work condition reasons lack of training of teaching skills with teachers this is one of the great drawback that nobody is taking seriously that teachers also need training their teaching skills are to be enhanced for better teaching this has been neglected to a great extent so in mentoring we should make an attempt specifically attempt we should also be mentee to somebody who is good in teaching that we should learn from him so many things we should go on reading we should learn so many things so that our teaching skills are enhanced and these drawbacks can be minimized now the challenges in mentoring present generation students generation gap is one thing that is always there uh, any time it will be there but we can minimize that by changing our styles our expectations that he may say hi instead of saying good morning or say namaskar he may say hi hi sir how are you bye sir likewise you should get accustomed to these practices and try to understand generation as you can understand to your grandson as the grandfather understands grandson differing communication styles balancing digital and in person interactions in most of the places uh, in maharashtra or the teachers who are connected over here in most of the places you will find that there are many times in person interaction but nowadays given a short time and to be transferred the information knowledge to be given and the skills to be transferred are so much that the time problem is there so you will have to also use some digital modes some other activities some uh, say uh, their own assignments are to be carried out some you may transfer them some videos that you look at the videos and just comment in two lines on this so that digital and in person uh, in person skills are to be balanced and addressing the need for immediate results addressing the we cannot expect a long term program we have got a short time with them and in that we have to give result deliver the results which are really useful so keeping up with technological advancement is also a need of the hour now next is so these are the challenges overall objective of this session is to understanding role of mentor understanding the mentee understanding surrounding environment importance of uh, say mentoring and how to do effective mentoring in present scenario so the sorry it has been too fast just it is going in reverse way just minute please so roles and functions of mentor mentor should be i will just uh, summarize you are all well versed educated people so need not describe many of this uh, looking at the time constraint actually the topic is too vast to be trained in uh, one or one and a half hour but i will try to give an at least a outline so that you can yourself explore number of things other thing a teacher or a mentor must be leader and motivator a leader who knows what is their ahead where we want to lead that must be known a direction must be clear he should be motivator and not a discouraging one every time a negative comment on a say student results him discouraging him or disappointing him or by loss of confidence or by hatred 
none of these can give you a effective role of motivator or leader you you should be guide and guide should know something more than the one who is uh, to whom he is guiding so he should be guide he should be role model role model by example not only role model so what one should be what one what ethics one should follow that role model should be exemplified so i am telling in lecture that smoking is not good it has got so many problems with the lungs and liver and all that and cancer and i am just uh, immediately taking or smoking i cannot be the role model for the student so what i am saying what i am is really believing and practicing that is important he is advisor and counselor so advisor and counselor for the student now advice is not a something that is thrust or not a directly order it is a suggestion which a student may accept or may not accept you should not get annoyed that i have given you advice and you have not accepted if you are having a say annoyance of of this then you are not advising you are dictating the terms so you are advisor and not a dictator you are advisor and counselor a counselor also listens his part and then gives some suggestions likewise so he is opportunity creator helping decision making then perspective expander and diversifier emotional supporter and confidence booster personal academic and professional developer personal let me uh, repeat the words personal academic and professional developer for the mentee advocate for student and recognizer source of updated knowledge skill and expertise assisting networking and building connections so uh, networking of the for that mentee and building his connections in the field is also essential role of mentor affectionate caring supporter short and long term not only for the period of mentorship he should try to maintain a caring and affectionate relationship with the mentor although our responsibility is for the mentorship period that is education period we should try to keep it ahead also and if he has some difficulty we should support if possible wherever possible he should be non judgmental he should not be a critic in non judgmental way uh, many people are uh, judgmental that you are wrong likewise they are immediately concluding to some judgment and uh, making some remarks not is that listen non judgmentally understand him and then give constructive feedback goal and accountability setter he should help him to set his own goals so who is goal setter the student is goal setter and the when he himself will be goal setter he will be accountable for that but you should help him and try to regulate his targets that he is achieving it in proper manner promoter of diversity and inclusion now this is something uh, uh, very different that number of diverse cases will be there now what should be the qualities of good mentee just a minute first of all qualities uh, types of mentoring we shall have briefly and then we shall switch to the qualities of mentor now there are different types of mentoring they are having their own specific needs and context it is not that everybody will have the same formula or one key to all the locks that is not the situation you will have to uh, and they are not mutually exclusive you can combine these different types simultaneously depending on needs and circumstances goals and preferences of that particular mentee and what are his targets or what are resources available to both mentor as well as mentee the method of mentoring can be formal or informal a combination of both there is a traditional or one to one mentoring is there uh, one person is explaining the things to one person reverse mentoring in some cases we need reverse mentoring a student needs to explain how to do a particular thing with especially with the um, part of technology you can have reverse mentoring group mentoring is also there uh, normally we practice group mentoring at colleges virtual or remote mentoring so student is in the say medical shop working for, and now he has some problem he is asking you for help that is a virtual or remote mentoring career mentoring so what are the future uh, options what should be done likewise that is that guidance that counseling and uh, helping him to select a proper one which is suitable for his needs 
his family background so that career mentoring is there then academic mentoring is there which we regularly carry in our classrooms peer mentoring that uh, sometimes you can hand over them to the some senior students uh, peer who, those who are slightly better to you explain this to him likewise and thus his need is fulfilled mentoring needs are fulfilled online mentoring so these are the types of mentoring qualities of good mentor a good mentor must share experience and expertise whatever experience he has in field uh, or he should have a better experience in fact as and better knowledge than the mentee many people uh, in teaching field later on become care careless or some new comers also are careless about preparation you must have a more knowledge than the student himself then and then he will respect you for your knowledge and expertise so in the field or in the relevant area you must be good one you must possess a uh, deep understanding of the subject matter as well as they should have a proficiency in the your uh, say in the profession whatever practice or professional and personal journey uh, journey you should have successfully demonstrated that is yes, i can do that so it is not difficult for you you can also do that likewise so effective communication is necessary and this is a purposeful act that is to be we should make we should have a good listening habit many times what happens those who speak do not have a tendency to listen so when we are speaker in uh, as in lecture all we go on speaking long lectures but when we are listening like this in classroom you are bored uh, when this person will stop likewise so good listening is the key for getting new knowledge so good listening active listening uh, clear articulation and ability to provide constructive feedback are necessary for good mentor he should be able to convey information and ideas effectively and clearly and he should have a productive and open dialogue with their mentee open dialogue the two way conversation not one way conversation should be there there should be empathy understanding and patience on the part of mentor and he should have a commitment many times what happen everything is there teacher has all this thing but he is not he has not got commitment that i will give something best i will make my mark on this subject i will make my some mark on the mind of the student that if that is not the commitment then his performance goes down although he has everything it is not made into application and so that is uh, a necessary thing for mentor commitment and availability he should be available when the student needs him at all reasonable times he should be available to address his questions concerns or whatever problems are there with him positive role modeling so there should be a role modeling uh, thing that he should demonstrate himself that there are certain values ethics and professionalism he himself should not that i this is allowed to me that improper sterilization is allowed when i am doing improper sealing is allowed when i am i am carrying out to the ampul but you should do it it is not thing you should also practice a good model role model for him then uh, there should be integrity and respect and strong work ethics many uh, a good teacher will have a good respect for student because you get what you give it is a reflection of what you deliver if you are delivering hatred anger or say some uh, uh, wrong language you are using the same is expected from the student although not in front of you so if you respect them they really try to keep in your opinion their good character the good respect and they behave properly so that because you respect them and look away at them in with different view so you should inspire and motivate them through the uh, the, the students there are certain requirements for mentee on belty also i will not discuss them at length because the time is running fast uh, there is openness to learning he should be ready to learn and uh, there must be genuine uh, say genuine desire and he should be receptive and uh, should be ready to cooperate with the mentor to explore new ideas he should have active participation should have some questions should have some discussion and uh, share his experiences or problems likewise then goal orientation should be there there should be clear goals if they are not there we should help them to set their clear goals and this goal may be divided in short goals for the coming year for the coming month likewise so long term and short term goals should be there they should be realistic and measurable 
they should be realistic many people have goals but they do not have any connection with real i want to be a president of the country now that cannot be the goal unless i have that effort that input that must be realistic that must be having certain background likewise so accountability and responsibility is also required he should take accountability and responsibility for his uh, say acts and should follow the commitments suppose he has given some time or schedule that i will give this assignment by this date he should follow that at least he should have sense of sincerity for that he should have respect and appreciation for his mentor if it is not there it is difficult to have a good conversation with him so what are the essentials for successful mentorship mentoring partnership it is a confidentiality so if a mentee tells you something in confidentiality some family information some problem even his relationship and the worries about the health of particular person likewise you should keep this information confidential should not should not make it a public show should not discuss it elsewhere in any manner in any circumstances whatever may be the annoying circumstances you should not uh, say make his should not breach his confidence in you trust in you you should establish a mutual trustful relationship between the mentor and mentee should be there exhibit collaboration understanding mutual respect and commitment to learning and development she should have, uh, there should be professionalism throughout mentoring relationship should not expect him to tell everything which is very personal or very private or he would don't want to share that his family has some loan and some problem and you are expecting him to share all the information no not that to so you should ask the questions to the extent he is ready to share and this professionalism must be expect uh, say maintained throughout the mentorship relationship benefits so now many people will think why i should make such headache my job is teaching i am paid for teaching i shall teach whether he wants to learn whether he wants to get it or from it or not whether he is having some result out of that or not is not my business i do not have in uh, anything i have nothing to do with all this thing if that is the there first of all understand what are the benefits of mentorship to mentor a kind of personal fulfillment when i give something to somebody i have got a, a sense of fulfillment and satisfaction and when my mentees grow they uh, achieve suppose somebody becomes manager or managing director of certain firm somebody starts and makes successful business and has good name and fame in that area then i can proudly claim that he is my student so that is a personal fulfillment some goal to the life is there just making work for work is not the target of life anybody can do that everybody every animal survives he he gets food but that is not the target of human being he should have a sense of personal fulfillment that is achieved through mentorship then there is a professional growth when you teach you learn twice when you are teaching your teaching skills are increased your communication skills are increased you remember your first day when you have you have first time we were delivering lecture then and today the confidence you have built so your your knowledge expertise has been, uh, been built the day in your colleges you are having something like that is there and now when you are teaching you know exactly what is there what is not there that you know exactly so it reinforces your knowledge and makes you to understand subject better and keep the mastery in the field by good mentoring by giving support by finding new horizons by searching new information you yourself get enhanced your professional growth is there ultimately your this quality will help you in your career growth so it is not only men your mentorship is not only beneficial to mentee it is also beneficial to you your career growth and new opportunities may open since you know some more things so for you new opportunities can open for those who are just in the old days cannot there cannot be the new opportunities that is why for professional growth or growth also mentorship is helpful there is a fresh perspective you learn new and new things there were no so uh, recombinant dna technology when i learned but if that comes like in the latter phase their protein structure the molecular modeling all these things were not there but if they are there now i must learn and because of i am teaching and i have to get connected with this information i try to learn something and some different approaches some different outlooks some assumptions that i was having that this is like that 
yeah, I found that they are wrong. So I must get updated every time. And my problem solving ability, thinking ability, out of box thinking, and there can be multiple approaches that grows. So building network can also be the uh, another advantage. When I teach a mentor, uh, as a mentor, I teach somebody, the mentee and his all relationships come in contact with me. The professional people, his friends, they also know about me. I can also take help from him that if suppose there is his manager is later on in the latter period in some company, I need some drug for uh, working, I need some other help, some equipment likewise. I have a network that is yes, my student is there, his brother is there. Likewise, a building network is one important thing for a successful person. Persons are made successful not only by knowledge, by the network he keeps along with knowledge, he is successful. So this network can be created, which may lead to future, future collaborations, partnership, that you can have an industry institute relationship or collaboration because your student is there. That may be very easy. If your student is not there, it will be difficult. So building network will be beneficial to you individually as well as organi uh, from organization part of you. The skill refinement is there. So skill refinement includes a effective communication, listening and coaching skills. Many people cannot express them properly, but you will find that teachers are always superior in that because they are habitual to them. Because they have got number of experimentation. If I teach like this, what happens? What is the response? How feedback is to be taken? How the things are to be arranged? How the logical sequencing of the total information is to be made. Likewise, number of analytical and intellectual skills are developed. Uh, and you can provide feedback. You can easily uh, understand the gist or theme of that particular topic, a long description. So all these skills are uh, developed and skill refinement is there. Succession planning and legacy. A teacher is known by his students. This is a universal truth. A guru is known by Shishya. Why you know Sandipan Rishi? Because he was the he was the teacher of Krishna, Lord Lord Krishna. So a teacher is remembered by his students. So if you want to have a succession, good name or legacy in this respect, that uh, my teacher was say uh, still the king of Saudi Arabia says that my teacher was uh, Shankar Dayal Sharma, the then president. He was teacher to me in my college days. Now he is identified, teacher is identified by the students, their success, their growth. And if they get good name, the teacher also gets good name. So it is the benefit of teacher that he should be having a good mentorship with the mentee. Now see, there are benefits to mentee, which have been discussed in the course of time to some extent. So I will not repeat each and everything. Just I will enlist them in a broad headings. Uh, that is guidance and support, uh, transferring knowledge, insights, expertise, experience, some practical tips that don't, there are three methods, but this is simple. Likewise, you can give the information, navigate challenges if there are some obstacles, how to overcome them instead of just crying that this is not available, that I cannot do this without this. Try to uh, work on new things. You know, when Professor C.V. Raman was there, he was invited in India by then Prime Minister Nehru. He, uh, he was given charge of physics research in India and was asked to establish institution for that. And what happened when he has uh, started, there were no much tools. The government was trying to provide, but it was not available. He started his work sometimes in the earthen pots. Earthen pots he has used. He has not said that there are no proper, say, uh, vessels to work for that and all that. So there might be the problems, obstacles. Try to manage the things as much as possible with available resources. And don't skip the experiment because the two things are not there. Whether you can substitute it by something else. You are not having glycerin. Can you use propylene glycol? Likewise, things should be made in that way. The mentee has got guidance and support in all these respective practical tip will be obtained and he can develop his own strategies for future work. Self competencies, development opportunities are also liberated for him. Then boost confidence and self belief and uh, can overcome challenges. His uh, network is expanded. A mentor should introduce his mentee at so many places that he is my student. Can you offer him project? He is very good student. You give reference for some industry. So 
his network is expanded your networks advantage of your network can be given to that mentee so expanded network will be there for mentee also like you will also benefit from that accelerate career advancement and personal growth and self reflection will be there self awareness will be there self reflection means just you he will be made to thought himself if somebody give some constructive feedback you lack in this particular manner and i expect you to do this and it is possible for you he will definitely build the thing general outline of the mentoring process so first of all you have to establish the relationship in good manner uh, you have to make the environment of trust uh, among e uh, each other and a very comfortable thing should be there there should not be strain in the mind of menti i am sitting in front of my teacher now what he will tell how he will scold me how he will uh, take me to the uh, task not that establish a good comfortable and trustful relationship with your menti building a comfortable and trusting rapport by taking enough information by acquaintance by knowing his background by knowing his expectation or uh, limitations also i would uh, like to stress this point not only what are the things that are expected are to be made, uh, say made known to you but also limitations that only this okay you are here you just you are expected to reach to first class not the topper of the board every time saying that you will be topper of board is not the thing a reasonable expectation and the limitations of that particular thing is to be kept in mind so building a comfortable and trusting rapport with all its limitations and boundaries you should identify this then identifying goals and objectives uh, say goals what are the goals now these goals of the mentee i am uh, referring not the mentor i should not set the goals i should identify what are his goals and what are his needs what are his objectives and what things are needed for that particular thing to him so you are just a provider of what a, your client is asking for your customer is asking for likewise so identify goals try to uh, help him to set the goals setting specific goals and objectives and the action plan only setting goals is not important if this goal is to be achieved you have to do this this and this thing and you will enlist this thing you will say have a uh, these things are connected with each other and every step if properly done automatically goal will come so this action plan is to be developed for the uh mentee but it is not to be developed by me it is to be developed in collaboration with the mentee and measurable milestones whether i am going in right way there should be some uh, say milestones and timelines that in the first three months in sessional i will reach to first class i will read these three books i will go through these four references i will have an idea of ip likewise some measurable milestones will be there and some timelines will be there and guidance and support will be there Uh, for achieving this action plan if there are some obstacles they are to be removed and the constructive feedback is to be given on the evaluation the evaluation should be unbiased and just not a pre decided no you are full you don't know this you have made this mistake not that it should be unbiased uh, without any prejudice and should be uh, say there should be reflection she he should help him to reflect uh, or think upon himself just you find out where you have gone wrong why this is a problem has come you just find out so you help him to find and discover what is there then there should be continuous support one time i am giving much support and next time i am i am driving away uh, to the candidate no that cannot be the a good mentoring uh, relationship there should be finally closure and transition now what happens many times we expect that i have delivered so many things it is part of my duty and the student should reciprocate it all the time should remember all the lifetime should give me respect no it's my job it's my duty i have done this because i have got pleasure in that not because uh, i am not obliging him by providing this mentorship i have given mentorship because i want to develop myself and himself also so you should be able to close and the uh, close the mentorship after education and if he needs if he seeks his transition into the next phase should be supported you should guide him about the future career future opportunities how the resume is to be made how the applications are to be made what connections you can use likewise the transition of the phase from student to career 
that you should also support so that is how the general mentoring process goes on this involves a number of mentoring sessions uh, the uh, mentoring session means one interaction for this particular purpose it is not all the time you are in the uh, mentorship mode not that you decide some action plan and in between you just guide it is something different than coaching and counseling so in mentoring you have some sessions some interactions in uh, with the forest professional personal and academic growth you will <coughs> you have got some sessions with the candidate and you plan it and uh, intermittently you check it so there are some interacting sessions these are called as mentoring sessions so steps in mentoring sessions before session a mentor and mentee must be prepared that what are the objectives of this session what i want to give in this session our lecture is a kind of mentoring session we must be clear about the objectives what i want to deliver in this particular one uh, sir how much time is there with me sir sir you can have uh, 10 minutes more for the uh, session okay Okay, I will try to close the thing in sure, that way. Sure, sure. So clear objectives are to be set, brilliant documents or resources should be made ready. Suppose I want to have some experiment, then resources, the tools, the notes, or likewise, the things are to be at hand. Plan the session agenda and outline, confirm the logistics, where, when, how uh, we are to meet. That all should be pre-decided and the target, uh, the number of things to be achieved in that session must be properly planned then during the session you will have a pro proper report first of all you have good interaction review objectives agenda and uh, confirm that both agree with that uh, actively listen the uh, mentee mentee's things mentee's requirement listen it first then engage in mini meaningful advisory or two way dialogue offer guidance advice and support and set actionable steps the then goals to work to on after smart. Uh, I will uh, not explain right now smart and other things being given a small time. Then uh, after the session, after the session, just a minute. The tabs are not appearing for uh, to fro movement. Okay, okay. So, during the mentoring session, all these things are to be done. Some actionable steps and goals are to be set. So, in two days, you do this thing. You come with me next time while we shall see. You come with this preparation and uh, likewise. You may give him some material resources likewise. Then, after the session, recap and reflect what has been already achieved, what is wrong, where you can improve likewise. Follow-up communication, monitor and track progress, schedule necessary future sessions. So, uh, mentor, after mentoring, you will have to schedule the next one, when to meet next time. Such five to six sessions should be taken at least for a candidate separately in the year for good mentoring or at least in a group of four, six, uh, in a uh, six times or eight times in a year, this should be carried out other than academic meets, academic or coaching meets or lectures and counseling. So this is after the mentoring session, strategies and best practices for effective mentoring. Now our uh, topic is uh, for effective mentoring of the present generation students. So all this is the situation, what is mentoring, what is required, all these things are there. What are the some strategies and best practices to summarize them? Utilizing technology for communication and engagement. You have less time and have to make time management due to many things. You can utilize technology for in some cases where you are not, uh, say, uh, say uh, indispensable. You can delegate some of the work to some other people also. You can also make senior students involved and uh, put their uh, feet in your shoes as a mentor. Likewise, identification of unique needs, circumstances and dynamics of mentee. Not every formula will work for every student. 
every student is a unique identity his needs are unique so what is your study method you may give some tailor made advice specific advice for each student depending on his needs other than the general common thing creating a structured mentoring program you will have a clear cut what is to be delivered what are expectations what are the goals of mentoring program what are the outcomes after completing mentoring program should be very clear to you that this should be the minimum outcome this is better if i can achieve this and this will be very very good thing if i can do this one like as or the best thing in encouraging mentees to take ownership of their learning top or uh, learning so whatever thing is there he is responsible not you don't blame yourself for something wrong but try to reflect him try to encourage him that take responsibility don't run away from responsibility if you are not able to do this do this and take responsibility of good thing done by you or bad thing that is happening to you and go ahead with that so active listening and empathy so you should have a good listening quality empathy or the karuna as it is called as Uh, should have a love for the your mentee should have a appreciation for your empty uh, mentee you should encourage just like mother encourages the child's uh, say words even though they are not clear in the same manner you have to support them and encourage them patience and understanding is necessary uh, sometimes you uh, you are getting annoyed i am explaining this four times to you and you are not getting this i have shown you this two times have patience everybody has his own speed his own pace of learning every stu- every student will learn but not at the same day and in the same manner so you will have to select different modes go on experimenting adaptability and flexibility should be there you should adapt to new things and be flexible in selecting different mode not because i am doing this from 20 years and this is the only way not that you be flexible establishing a positive and trusting relationship with mentee setting clear expectations and goals provide constructive feedback and guidance non judgmental and unbiased sharing success and failure stories this is very important success and failure stories of different people we have shared they motivate and inspire the students to do something different that how a ordinary person has developed a vaccine now that thing your observation what is the key you do not require great lab setup and all that thing your observation leads to creativity and this sharing such stories we inspire the students to go ahead so do take time keep some time to share some success and failure stories and their reasons there of discuss the reasons there of so avoiding reprimanding in public this is one of the important quality required by the mentor what happens many times mentors are uh, if annoyed they scold publicly especially in the class or uh, say in the open when there are number of students if you want to reprimand give him warning or something like that as far as possible unless circumstances demand like that reprimand him privately so that he will not be feeling insulted and your rapport your good dialogue will not be destroyed encourage self reflection and critical thinking make him think don't think for him make him think and give some suggestions where he is supposed to work out give some feedback questions which will help him to work out his own views and just de- help him to discover his own things and make him a critical thinking person uh, case studies i will not uh, take uh, right now number of small things i have discussed while discussing earlier part so real life example successful mentoring i will not give some case studies right now but the uh, mentoring impact is uh, there is a great impact in academic career and the personal development of students so if you are supporting your student you are supporting one family if he is properly grown or properly he is achieving his own position you are also supporting society so if your student finds some drug in future after higher education and you have sown the some seeds of that knowledge in him or inspired that spirit of separate say out of box thinking then you are also having some role in that so mentoring matters mentoring effective mentoring matters you are you can create the society just don't get disappointed because the results are not immediate you have sown the seeds of a mango tree and you have to wait till the mangoes are there and till then 
be enthusiastic be cheerful even though immediate results are not appearing go on working like that and that is why i think is the effective mentoring and very powerful tool uh, my time is about to over so i will like to thanks one again all the teachers you are my fraternity it is not that i have got i have got something special for you everybody has got something special i have just tried to share my own views with you to some extent and you can add and refine it by your own ways and techniques you may be superior in many places to me i have just shared it in general for all and i hope this will be really applied in your real day to day life although we have got number of problems and struggles and our environment is not very happy environment you will continue to have a good men uh, prove yourself as a good mentor and will refine yourself over the period of time so that world will salute you like that uh, teacher who has introduced qr code so wish you all the best in your career your mentoring and successful fulfillment of life along with the professional uh, say uh, respect i again salute your patience for hearing all this and salute your performance all the days till today as a teacher in your classes and i hope there will be something addition in your earlier techniques or tools you are employing in this uh, mentorship activity thank you very much thank you very much mate and chirsagar sir and all the team once again apti also i appreciate first time such initiative on the teacher level has been taken and uh, have been really made to effect in this like this and instead of just giving uh, say applications and uh, so called nivedans they have come into the real uh, life situation thank you very much thank you thank you sir now we will start the question answer session sir can we start yeah. the session yes yes if time permits okay thank you sir i take a first question sir what are the special mentoring techniques we can apply for special contexts now this special mentoring techniques uh, <coughs> especially special candidates are some special candidates i will give two three example there are number of situations some handicapped students are there they are to be given benefit so he cannot complete his paper i do not find anything illegal giving 5 minutes more completed if he has some writing problem so if he is having some uh, 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 improper activity of hands i i should try to understand his handwriting because i don't understand i just will not throw away the paper and give zero marks likewise that should not be the thing so special candidate there are special needs sometimes some students are uh, afraid of the questions in public they are not able to answer i should ask them if anything is there in person or if some students have come to the course with uh, say uh, force of the family or unwillingly because they have not got admission into the uh, course they desired now their interest start to be changed that will take time and you should support during this period should bear with it, all this situation and encourage him that okay what has happened forget it now come to this likewise so this i think uh, is to be tailor made adapted considering the situation considering the psychology of mentee uh, sir i take a second question how we improve students uh, performance while mentoring by how we improve okay. performance while mentoring what happens when uh, suppose you have gone to the a public meeting and you have heard the one who is addressing the meeting you have heard him you know that it is not a personal thing you take some things seriously and forget something but when you are sitting one to one with some person and exchanging certain idea i take it seriously when i listen it is it said in education technology that when you uh, say when you hear you remember only a part of it when you uh, say write you remember something more and when you say explain it you have still more things memorized so and simply memory is not the target in today's world because they are, uh, suppose why i should remember uh, phone numbers when they are there in the uh, mobile phone if i am asking my student to remember each and everything i am just making waste of his time 
whatever is fruitful whatever is not available that is to be made to remember rest of the things he should understand the principle that whenever he is in need he, he can use it so by mentoring we make him a practice to use these tools effectively to which resources because there is much information explosion that is also a problem number of references are there so where from selectively i should use this that where uh, there i can be of help i can be of support likewise how i can cover this in short time can i give key diagrams or can i make him to uh, a structured arrangement that how they simple this can be made giving illustrations in order to understand the very foundation of that particular concept different illustrations can be made into the place i should work on this day by day so that i can give effective mentor mentoring and in a less time i can deliver more and the student will appreciate really that yes this teacher has given me more student may forget in future what you have delivered to him the content you have delivered to him after 20 years asking what was that uh, explain this particular is has got nothing to do what you make him feel and you should make him learn how to learn and not only the content you should make him learn how to learn that is the prior duty of the teacher i believe so mentorship will definitely help for that purpose we are running out of time so i request participants to put questions in chat box we will get back with answers later thank you very much sir for guiding us through our session thank you, and thank you for bearing with me uh, when there was interruptions thank you sir chavan so sir thank you very much shirsagar sir and make apti and all the team who have made effort to make my voice and me reach to the people thank you shall i leave the studio hello hello yes sir am i audible to you yeah yes yeah, sir yeah. Uh, for a session like this for guidance on uh, this topic we can always bear for all the technical issues sir nothing to worry oh. about it okay thank you thank you sir yes sir yes sir shall i leave the studio uh, yes sir thank you so much thank you for thank you for your session sir thank you thank you uh, thank you sir i now declare the end for the session i uh, now i would like the request sarika patil ma'am coordinator of e e uh, efdp uh, to proceed with the valedictory function in minutes okay for participants till we start with the valedictory functions we have two points to be discussed one which is related to the questions that were not answered so what we will be doing is we'll be sharing a link uh, one uh, google form with you people and anyone who is having any kind of question related to the five uh, sessions that we had if anyone is having their questions which is not answered through the session or during the session we request you to kindly fill that google link kindly send us those question we will try to get it resolved through our speakers and get back to you it will be shared with you through the google uh, spreadsheet as discussed yesterday so nothing to worry if you have any question not answered or unanswered during the sessions we'll be getting it covered in a due uh, period of time right and the second point which is related to the feedback links and the certifications so we we have processed with all the certifications and all we'll be working uh, on the certificates and those certificates will be shared in a span of i'll say 78 uh, 7 to 8 days with you all you people in the due course of time through your email only thank you thank you naina ma'am good afternoon everyone so we have reached to the end of this faculty development program i 
Sarika Patil, welcome you all to Valedictory Function of National Level E-Faculty Development Program Implementing ER 2020 Challenges and Opportunities Organized by MITs Institute of Pharmacy in association with APTI Maharashtra State. Firstly, I would like to thank Almighty God for making this event a great success. On behalf of MITs Institute of Pharmacy, I would like to extend my RTS thanks to our chief guest, Dr. Soham Chitlange, Vice President, APTI Western Region, Principal Dr. D.Y. Patil Institute of Pharmaceutical Sciences and Research, Pimpri, Pune. Thank you, sir, for encouraging us. We have been fortunate enough to get a chance to listen to various eminent personalities during our two days national e-faculty development program. Dr. Rakesh Somani, President, APTI Maharashtra State, Principal of Dr. D.Y. Patil University School of Pharmacy, Navi Mumbai, delivered a session on topic of COPO mapping and attainment. We thank you for your presence and deliberation that made this conference exemplary. We thank Dr. Manjiri Gharath, Principal, Kem Kundanani Pharmacy Polytechnic, Ullasnagar, for providing such a knowledgeable session on patient counseling, community pharmacy management. Ma'am, thanks for gracing the occasion and sharing with us your valuable opening and findings. Heartfelt thanks to Dr. Anubha Khade, founder and consulting partner, ARQ Solution, LLP Mumbai, for taking time out taking out time from your busy schedule and providing such useful insights and views on a topic, topic, objectives and roles of assignments. We thank Dr. Shraddha Devarshi, Assistant Professor, Indira College of Pharmacy, Pune, has delivered knowledgeable session on topic, pharmacotherapeutics through SOAP. Heartfelt thanks to Mr. Avinash Bhutada, Associate Professor, SNJB Sri DF Loda Pharmacy College, Sandwar, delivered a lecture on effective mentoring of present generation students. This session was extremely useful as it spoke about important issues for today's generation. I thank our trustee, Honorable Sri Shagan Bujwar sir, Honorable Sri Samir Bujwar sir, and Honorable Sri Pankaj Bujwar sir. I thank our pillar of support, respected Dr. Shepali Bujwar ma'am, and I thank all other trustees of MITs Institute of Bujwar Knowledge City. I thank our principal, respected Dr. Sanjay Shilsagar sir, for always motivating us to organize such an effective MDPs. I thank Mr. Mayur Savan, sir, for guiding us through this national level e faculty development program and make it a success. This national level e faculty development program is organized in association with APTI Maharashtra. And I sincerely thank APTI Maharashtra for their constant support, for trusting us, for their for their constant support. I thank all participants for being with us for this today's national level EFDP. We are going to circulate for the participants. We are going to circulate a Google form in a WhatsApp group. Those participants who have any questions regarding the session being conducted can ask those questions through, through the Google, Google form provided in WhatsApp group. We will compile answers from the respective speakers and it will be provided on WhatsApp group. With the prior permission of our respected principal, sir, now I declare that the validatory function has ended. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, all the participants. Bye-bye.